Um, what we talking about, man, is hip hop, man. New York again strikes again. Mm-hmm. The verses. Mm-hmm. Ja Rule, Fat Joe. I know Bar mm-hmm. ain't even see it. Because I was busy working. Doing what? Setting up working. She just up. went home 15 minutes ago. Setting up for the show. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All right. Show was three hours ago. <laughs> no, but lie, I, I lie like you, lie like you uh, lying. It was a pretty good versus, man. It um you it was think some so? Yeah, I, I think uh they got saved. They got saved. No, they definitely got saved. Um I'll just say this real quick. Um ja Rule got hits today. Like un- undeniable, you know, classic hits that are hits a little bit more they hit a little bit more than Joe's hits. Joe's hits is more regional. Remember what you're talking about regional? Okay. Um, so but we know that, you know. But I think Ashanti won the versus <laughs> He said Ashanti won the versus. Yeah. He's the winner. <laughs> can, can I can I yeah. you, <laughs> you 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 talking fuckery? Can I talk the real? Talk to me. The verses sometimes get it right. Mm-hmm. Sometimes the verses get it wrong. You think this was wrong? This was a terrible matchup. Yeah, uh, okay. I will tell you why. Okay, talk to me. Fat Joe later on in his years, I guess, became the hit maker. He was right. he, he was involved with hits, but he right. was involved with hits. He never right. had major hits. Yeah, he, a few, but nothing nothing crazy. He was involved, and I'm, I'm saying these words on purpose. Okay, he was yeah, involved don't, in hits. He was involved in DJ Khaled records. He was involved. I'm saying like he didn't make those hits. He was just in those hits, and that's mm-hmm. cool. Ja he, got, he got lean back, bro. You got to give him lean back. Come on, bro. Cool. And remember, versus is twenty records. So lean right. back. Congratulations. You got one. Right. You got around. <laughs> but what I, what, ja Rule made hits. That's literally what he did. So He's before, a hit maker. Yeah. Before there was a hit maker. Right. There was Ja Rule. Right. <laughs> before, <laughs> the hit maker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before 50 came and, and shitted on everything that Ja Rule was doing. Right. Ja Rule was a staple yeah. for a hit record. Whether it be a rap record a sing rap record, R and B record. We went to Ja Rule. It was a thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. This matchup was terrible because Ja Rule he clearly has two decades worth of hits right. <laughs> that he wrote, was a part of, featured in. The industry went to Ja Rule for a while. Why? Yeah. The industry was stuck in New York. Ja Rule oh, ran yeah. New York for a little bit before Fifty came and shitted on him. We get it. Or- are you Ellie? This guy, Fat Joe, don't get me wrong. A classic artist in his own right. Oh, yeah. A lyricist. In oh, his yeah. Own right. Oh, yeah. But he was not writing commercially successful hit records from Jump. Right. That's his whole. All, yeah. Yep. That's yep. all Ja Rule knows. Right. So now we in the verses. I gotta play my twenty versus your twenty. Yeah, you could play bars. I'm gonna play bangers, right? And that's what happened to me. Yeah, I digress. Um, I, I I definitely agree with that. Um, I thought it was a good matchup, a little, but when I saw you know Fat Joe doing all of them early '90s, the Flo Joe songs, and it's like. Bro, we don't know that stuff. Like, you got to be a real, um, you got to be a real head to know that. A you head, know you got to be a head, bro. Yeah. If you know flow, Joe, you got to flow, Joe. You got to flow, Joe. Yeah, yeah. You know, bro, you are really into hip hop, which is cool. And You're I get it. It's cool, you know? But yeah, so what you gonna do at, when 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 Ja Rule bang out the, the little Mo songs? I guess it's, it's a rap. <laughs> it's a rap. Um, bro, to be to be honest, I I, I felt bad. For Fat that's Joe. why he went to, but that's why he went to talking shit. No, he had no choice. That's why he went to clowning his clothes. It's like clowning his clothes. I, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. We all know Fat Joe, right? So Fat Joe yeah. tomorrow, he gonna have the love. He's I can't wait. Love. I he's cannot gonna, wait. He's gonna give the breakdown of what he saw, what happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
scene, the emotions, the feelings. Right. All in all, Fat Joe got his ass handed to him. He did. He did. Because you deal with somebody who writes hits. And right. for the artists, ooh, we may have a new lane right now. Uh-oh. For the artists who are listening to us. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know if you consider us old and washed up. I don't know, but we nice. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm personally nice. I know Dane personally nice. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So the artist that's listening to us, right? the songwriting ability is a big thing. Mm-hmm. The biggest lyricists in the world are not the biggest artists in the world. That is absolutely true. Drake is... Like world renowned, the biggest artist in the world right now, right? Like, is Drake the biggest artist? Mm-hmm. But he's not the biggest lyricist in the world right now. No, Kanye, same thing. One of the biggest artists, not the biggest lyricist. Not the biggest lyricist. So, yeah. the, do your bars matter? Yes. But do they really matter? No. Your song structure matters. Exactly. Ja Rule is busting this dude ass because with my songs are better. With- Songs with R and B classics that we can't. I'm writing, I'm writing the raps. I'm writing the vocals. I'm writing the bridge. I'm writing right. everything. My song right. structure is better than yours, and that's all Ja Rule kept saying. He was like, "Yo, I hear you, but I make hits. Here's another right. one." <laughs> he was slapping this nigga with At hits. At some point, what's to say? Joe got so mad, it, it just started calling the whip. Yo, Joe got really disrespectful, bro. He, yo, I've never seen that Joe be yo, disrespectful like this before. Yo, he 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 was calling all. We don't we don't cuss on Willow. We don't say the B yo, word on Willow. Everybody got called bees. Everybody <laughs> was bees. Yo, I Barry, if you don't watch it for nothing else, bro. Watch it to see how disrespectful Fat Joe is. Like, he took it straight to the Bronx projects. Because he was losing. I felt like, I felt like he was on the stoop. You know what I'm saying? Outside, talking shit. shit. It, was, it was bad, though. It was like, Fat Joe was regular relax. shit, man. But that's regular. Relax. You know, it, it, it's that's crazy. Regular New York it's shit, crazy man. because... No, but I'm just saying, but it's just the level that he went but against the guy who's just Fat like... Joe. This, this is the same Fat Joe that's on MTV and MTV2. And it's right. like you're building a brand for yourself. So, yeah. to, to get you in this bag, I know for a fact he was busting that ass. I know, yeah. it. I know it. Barry, it's a whole different fact. Like I don't know that guy. Like that guy that was on this stage. That's nineties Fat, Fat Joe. That's not a Joker moment and all of the stuff that he be saying. That no, bro, he was. Bro, he, he was, was getting was washed. Kind of disrespectful. It was like for it was he like was okay. getting washed. Yeah. He knew it, and it's okay. Yeah, you know how that goes. You get washed. You get washed. Bro, I don't blame Fat Joe. I don't blame Ja Rule. I blame Timbaland and Swiss Beats because this is a terrible versus. Yeah. They're not on the same level. Joe, Joe who who, who could Fat Joe go against? Bro, Joe Joe needs a 90s lyricist. He needs an AZ. He needs. Like It's weird. But he needs like a, a 90s lyricist. Who got bars with a couple hit records? Like who? Who can that be? A '90s okay. lyricist with bars and a couple hit records, other I, than Jay Z. Because <laughs> that Joe level of hits is always a step lower than everybody else's levels. Ah, I can't go. That's disrespectful. It's not. Oh, like, like That's when the Chicago when, when, and you talking? No, no, no. I'm, I'm not. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying. Out of all of the people, like okay, that's that that was harsh. No, <laughs> that was harsh. it's a step lower. Like what I mean is, from a respect level, you respect it for it's it being a hit, right? I was there doing all the way up. I lived in New York when he came back out with that. That was right but out of jail. That's, that's 2016. Like that's that's recent. That's 2015, 2016 shit. Like okay, so maybe, maybe even later than that. That, that. All the way up. When did all the way up come up come out? 2018, 2017? 16, 2015, 16. But the reason I'm saying it is, okay, so you're you trying to say that's not his heyday. All right, fair enough. Yeah, it's not. But, okay. That, what's that one, was his reemergence. What's one of Fat Joe's biggest songs? Other than other than Lean Back? Lean Back. <laughs> other, other than Lean Back, though? Like, What's Love Got to Do with It is like Discount Ja Rule song. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. every that's what I mean. That's what I'm yeah. trying to say. It's like, it's like he, every time he got a hit, it's like discount other person's song that Joel sound like. You know what I'm saying? Like a little. Maybe make it rain, but make it rain was kind of like a Lil Wayne song featuring but, Fat Joe. It's like but to be honest, that that's why you're proving my point. Right. My point is this is a terrible matchup. Yeah. It was a bad matchup. I'm agreeing with you. And I I I, I need the versus committee to to yeah. come come stronger, come harder with the matchups. Yo, so Soldier Boy and Bow Wow was a great matchup. It was the same yeah. the same era. The same genre, damn near. It was perfect. Like that's fire. Dipset, um, the locks. I want to say Jadakiss. <laughs> Dipset, <Yeah>. the locks. <laughs> fire. The same era of music. I do the think that was a good music. matchup. That was a good matchup. Though. It was like, it, great. It, but Dipset would have came on. And Fat Joe to me was just off. It it, it, it never was gonna work. Ja Rule is a different beast. He ran. Popular music, right? Until he from, shut him down. To be honest, he, he ran. He's from, it. Uh, he's from the um, he's from the the um, the era of hit makers. You know that, that yes. it was him. It was him, Jay Z, and DMX in a group at one yeah. point. We talking about all top tier people. Yeah, ja Rule chose to go that route because he said himself, he's like, I can't rap better than Jay Z. It's Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? He was like, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna outstreet DMX, but you know I can I mean? write a song. But I can, bruh, and I can sing a little bit. So here's my lane. One of the bro, top niggas bro, ever bro, done. He, bro, he yeah. said it. That's what I'm saying, Barry. I'm mad you missed it. I'm mad you missed it, Barry, because we having a whole moment and you can't be involved because you ain't see it. But literally, Ja Rule was like, "I'm the first rapping singing nigga. I did that. Right. I created that, which is real. Right." And everybody like, oh, it's a shot at Drake. It's a shot at Drake. It is. It's not a shot. No, but it's not a shot. It's the truth. How is that a shot? Well, no, but I'm just saying, you know how people, you know. You know Bro, you know, like, I'm telling the truth. I I was the first yeah. one. He was? He but was killing it. Nigga, first one on the same that, level. That, that was his lane. But what 50 did, 50 was real surgical. 50 made that corny. Yeah. And then you know, did the same thing, by the way. I just yes. You made some shit universally corny, but then did it, and then Drake made it more popping. You want to know what's, what, what's cool? And I said this when we, when we first started. That shows how good 50 Cent was. Absolutely. Because 50 Cent. Absolutely. Like, I feel like we're talking to Barry because Barry and said, bro, 50 Cent is so monumental to the point where You're not telling you me have that. two multi-platinum artists, and somehow we both are looking at them like lames. Yes. You're not talking crazy. to me. You're not talking <laughs> like, to me. Bro. Yes. Listen, it's not crazy, to me. though. It's like, how? Together, 50 cent, combined? 50 cent is in, money, I mean, platinum albums. It, bruh, it was 50, still kind of like... You're not telling video. me. But yeah, yeah. Y'all not talking to me about 50 Cent, because 50 Cent is in my favorite top five. No, but my I'm just, I'm just saying the fact artists, that you know we're, we're watching two artists that are... Like, it was just hit after hit after hit. You know what I'm well, saying? Whatever, whatever level you want to call it, but it was hit after hit after hit. You know, it, it, they ran the radio, but Ja Rule, I mean, not Ja Rule, 50 Cent was like, fuck all of that. I, I was, I, I lived in my <laughs> turn. No, my I get turn. it. Bro, I, I get I was here Absolutely. for it. So I, I, I'm, y'all, y'all not Absolutely. telling me that and I don't know. I understand it. But, no, but, so. but my point is, bro, it's stuck. <laughs> we still feel like that. How? Yeah, dude, I, I know. It's I understand. Quiet, yeah. <laughs> like, I get it 100%. No. I, I get it. I trust me. I understand. I it's, get it. It's, it's just crazy. Like, I, all in all, I, I'm not going to say it's the worst verses that I've seen, mm-hmm. but it's one of the worst verses that I've seen. Um, if, if, if we're talking about view viewership, and I hate to get into viewership because viewership is popularity, so I, not only viewership, but just content and, uh, and, and comment reaction, it was one of the most boring verses that I've watched, and I've watched damn near all of them. Mm-hmm. Um, the only thing I'm gonna say that saved it is is the guest Ashanti. Ashanti, no, Ashanti little Mo. Ashanti the day. Rari, the nigga brought out Vita. Hmm. Vita saved really? the day. Hmm. That's we was all like Vita. I don't even, that, <laughs> Bro, I would have expected goosebumps. that. Yes, I had goosebumps at that point, nigga. That, that's Ashanti, the bro. Ashanti is <laughs> good as she want to look. Jesus Christ. You don't even got to. Come on now. That's yeah, it. she do. 
If Ashanti ever watches this video, just know that you opened the door for me at the studio and we had a moment. We, we locked eyes. <laughs> like we was in blast off in New York City yesterday. Listen, can, can we change the topic? Because we not about, I'm not about I to hear you, but fuck you, Barry. You wasn't okay. there. The only, reason, the only reason that was funny is because I ain't never seen I ain't never seen this dude be starstruck before. Like I ain't never seen that. Bro, okay, so so can I can I be honest? <laughs> I, I I don't <laughs> get, I do not get Starstruck. I'm sorry. I ain't never seen that shit. These niggas is regular niggas to me. I don't give a fuck who they are. They regular I mean, people, bro. We in a regular studio. Like it's people coming out all the time. I'm in Blast Off Studio. I'm recording my hit. Ashanti might be recording her hit next to mine. But right. I opened, she opened the door and I'm like, oh shit. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like it's, it's it takes you aback. You're not. That, you're not. That was hilarious. Listen, listen I, 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 I definitely fanned out. Yeah. It's okay. It was just funny because I, you fanned out so much that it made me like. It made me want to be like, oh, you serious, serious? I, okay, nigga, Ooh. I wasn't joking, bro. bro you know, and I know we've told you a story a million times, so this ain't. But you know when the nigga eyes get big, she you know he like she opened like, the door. No, no, because so my thing, you get that shit, I'm like, Yo. how about this? How about this? Dame, how about this? How about this? I'm, I'm going to ask everybody that's watching us right now. Imagine you knock on the door. Right. And the person who opens the door is a shot. Right. Yeah. How the fuck do you react? Yeah. You, Let me know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I reacted crazy. Maybe I'm just I did. cool, like. Hey, man, right, hey. like what, what, what's up? You knock on the door. You're like, yo, what's up? The person who opens the door is Ashanti. Yeah. How do you react? Yeah, no. Nah, happened to me. Yeah, that shit was funny, man. That was hilarious. All right. Anyway, long story short, the verses was pretty good to me. You didn't like it. I like it. <laughs> I fucking hated it. It was terrible. It was a bad matchup. All the singers, all the she extra stuff. Timberland Timberland needs to do better. All right. So that's the synopsis, man. Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate facts, the support. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm -hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Peace.